boys and girls, not much happening today. Welcome to today's vlog because it's not much of a vlog. All right, so it's just going to be a quick short one here for this. And But don't worry, I'm going to post another video later today. You guys noticed I've been putting up... Uh, I'm commonly asked questions videos. Holy crap, man. I don't even tell I'm saying anymore. Okay, so today was basically spent uh, getting a few things prepped and ready to go here uh, for uh, my new special missions. I can't tell you what they are just yet. And we don't know how often they're going to happen, but uh, the truck needs to be ready to do them. That involves getting a little bit of paperwork and a few other things done, which I'm not going to show you just yet. No, I'm not. Uh, also, oh, quick, I just got to mention here real quick, congrats to uh, Trucker Josh. Um, I'm putting this in this video because actually it happened, it, it hadn't happened yet when I did this video, but it's up, so that's why I was able to put this in there and say it uh, for buying his new truck. Although it's not new, but it's new to him. And, you know, sometimes that's the best way to start too, you know. Uh, think about it, because a lot of people have been rising. I'm saying, oh, it's not a good decision, blah, 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 that old of a truck and whatnot. But actually, for your first starter truck, when you're buying it, getting something a little bit older, a used truck, is better. Shut up, email. Holy crap. Uh, and the reason being, and I don't know if he mentioned it, so I'm going to mention it, because he knows already, but some of you guys may not know, that watch him is it's uh it's cheaper number one okay your payments are going to be a lot lower your commitment is going to be a lot lower so instead of committing to a hundred and twenty thousand dollar finance truck you know you're going to commit to maybe i don't know how much he paid for it so i'm just i'm just shooting this out there a thirty thousand dollar truck so having payments on a thirty thousand dollar truck versus a hundred and twenty thousand dollar truck is huge number one the amount of time it takes to pay it off uh number two the size of the payment you know you're talking maybe and i'm just going to take a shot in the dark here because i don't really know 100 percent. but you know a new truck you're talking two thousand dollars a month whereas a used truck maybe a thousand dollars a month you know it, it may not be that kind of variation between it could be bigger could be less i don't know depends on what you put down i don't know what kind of financing you got so Anyway, so yeah, so you guys that are rising on Trucker Josh about buying that older truck, don't, okay? Because it's actually a smart decision for your first truck. Because number one, it'll be paid off a lot quicker. Uh, yes, he may have a little higher maintenance cost, but then again, he may not. Gotta remember, the truck's broken in. It doesn't have all the fancy electronics like the new ones do now. Uh, why? Because it's uh, pre, pre whatever there, it doesn't really need it. Um, so he should do fine with that truck. You know, we all watch him. He doesn't drive like a madman, so he doesn't beat up the trucks. So as long as he continues to take care of it, and, and the maintenance has to be done a little bit more regular. Uh, like, you, you have to get under there and check wires, check hoses, you know, yeah, do the grease uh, a little bit more often by himself. He can do that at home, you know, get underneath on a mat there and make sure everything's greased up and check everything, etc. You know, keep the engine clean to stay on top of it so that there's no leaks, etc. He knows all that. I don't need to tell that. I'm just telling it for you guys. So, anyways, yes. So, congrats, Trucker Josh. Way to go, getting your first new truck. First truck for yourself, for you and Diesel. And, yes, definite difference with the floor space. Oh, my gosh. Actually, I think you probably have more floor space than me. Uh, the, the Freightliner, I think, is just a little bit wider between the seats. I could be wrong. It's it's close, but I think the floor space might be a little bit wider. I'm not sure. So, but anyways, the, there you go. Anyways, there's enough said. I don't need to say any more about that. Way to go, Joy. Hey, back to important stuff. Well, that was important. Okay. So anyway, so yeah, I'm getting the truck ready. I got my new stickers. Oh, I shouldn't have said that, should I? Okay, but anyways, I did. So I got uh, my new thingies and I got my other new thingies. Oh, by the way, I wanted to show you guys something. Uh, and this has to do with... Uh, I saw it, another truck driver had it, and you know my, my paperwork's always just been all over the place. And I, I harp on trying to be organized and keep things, uh, you know, tidy and organized so you know where everything is. And and me, I was bad because I always had my cooler sitting on the seat. Now, ignore the garbage that's in the corner. I haven't emptied my garbage can, okay? And I got my windshield washer fluid in here because under the bunk is full. All right. So I used to have the cooler here, but I've put the cooler back there. Uh, I keep this free because every now and then, obviously, I, well, I've had a passenger once and 
it's nice to actually be able to have people come in the truck. So anyway, I'm getting off topic here. This thing, little organizer. It's like 10 bucks at, at uh, Walmart. I don't even know if it was 10 bucks. Yeah, it was around 10 bucks. Anyway, perfect for holding all your stuff. You know, you got stickers and paperwork. So you can keep your bills of lading. Uh, your former, your envelope for your f other stuff that's got to be turned in. Uh, you know, fax cover sheets, uh, trip sheets, hourly sheets. So, you can keep everything in one place and it's not lying all over the place in different cubby holes and stuff like that. So anyways, it just sits there. It works out perfect. I can line my coat there. What not, so it's easily accessible. I still got my junk tray down here, although it needs uh, cleaning. I found my Celadon hat. Yay. I couldn't find it there for a while. It was stuffed back in the cupboard. So I got to clean out my... Uh... Actually, my tray's not too bad. So, yeah. So there you go. Anyway, so today's vlog is going to... I'm cutting it short here. That's it. That's all. Just wanted to bring up a couple things. Uh, we are... Uh, I'll put up another video, another uh, commonly asked question video. That'll go up at noon. So just so you know. Anyway, guys, we'll talk to you in tomorrow's vlog. Yeah, because we sat around. We didn't go anywhere today. So there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, so that's the way she be. That's the way she roll. Alrighty, boys and girls, are you ready for it?